Have you ever wondered who invented the automobile? It was Carl Benz in 1886. His invention was a hit in the Industrial Revolution. However, this automobile uses fossil fuel as its source of energy. Since then, did you know how many cars are currently in the world today? It's almost 1 billion cars! Can you imagine how much pollution that is produced every day? A fossil fuel vehicle produces pollutant and induces the greenhouse effect which contributes to air pollution, consequently polluting the earth from time to time. Then, how do we fix it? Hydrogen gas Hydrogen gas is an eco-friendly fuel which generates a cleaner emission and is able to reduce air pollution. The production of hydrogen gas uses water as its raw material and gives out oxygen gas as the byproduct. The utilization of hydrogen gas as a fuel only releases water vapor through combustion. Isn't it an amazing fuel? Harmless and has abundant raw material. But how can we get the hydrogen gas? Ta-da! We can use TiO2 photocatalyst. Through a photocatalytic water splitting process using TiO2 photocatalyst, we absorb energy from sunlight to generate negatively charged electrons and positively charged holes that the electrons have left behind. These deliver charges to water where the water molecules swipe the electrons away to form hydrogen gas and the holes strip the molecules of electrons to form oxygen gas. However, TiO2 photocatalysts tend to undergo electron hole recombination. What is electron recombination? Well, you can think of it this way. Imagine those people are the electron and the chairs are the electron hole in the lower side, which is the valence band. When the sunlight that contains a lot of energy hits the TiO2, the electrons move to the higher side called conduction band. But then, due to their far distance travel, like as if there is a slide, they will easily fall back to their chair, then less water splitting will occur. Now, what happens if there's a facilitator in our TiO2 photocatalyst? Whoop! Look at those stairs! It makes the electrons travel much easier and prevent them from falling back to their valence band. A facilitator can be made by producing a nano-sized catalyst, which will make a shorter distance for the electrons to travel. Unfortunately, this nano-sized catalyst has a short life cycle due to its size being smaller than the filter size. Well, they have to be filtered over and over again because photocatalysts should be able to be reused over time. This causes some of them to end up in waste. Then, how do we deal with this? Turning it into TiO2 AC nanocomposite is the solution. Try to picture an activated carbon as a Swiss cheese. It has micropore structures that can be filled with the TiO2. Once the TiO2 is sintered onto the activated carbon, its size will also increase. So, they will retain in the filter since the activated carbon has a larger size than the filter pores. But then, where do we get the activated carbon from? There are a lot of raw materials that can be converted into activated carbon, such as rice husk, sugar cane bagues, and bamboo waste. But we choose sugar cane bagues. Why do we choose sugar cane bagues over the other two? Because bamboo waste activated carbon has a small surface area, and both materials need a higher carbonization temperature than sugar cane bagues. Different from the two, activated carbon from sugar cane bagues needs relatively moderate carbonization temperature than rice husk and bamboo waste. Chemical activation using zinc chloride results in a large surface area and micropore structure, which can be filled with large amount of nano-sized photocatalysts. Higher titanium oxide exposure to light and water, indicating more reaction can be generated. Then, it can increase the water splitting reaction efficiency. Hence, sugar cane bagues has a high potential to be converted into a activated carbon as nanocomposite with titanium oxide. It can reduce electron hole recombination, minimizes photocatalyst like reflection, increase the life cycle of the photocatalyst, and consequently produce more hydrogen gas, resulting a cleaner automobile fuel that is hydrogen gas. 